Again, the signal strength is pretty bad here. There's a ton of people here. In front of the garbage can. So many people here for this parade. Yelled at us for standing in front of the garbage can. <laughs> hey, New Jersey. We're gonna run with it. We've got Rob and Greg from the Give Me Five podcast. We're going to uh, see if we can stream through the through the parade. Hopefully, the signal holds out. But I just gave birth to somebody. So, Greg, tell us why why is this a big deal for me? To finish real quick. Be on with you guys in a second. I just gotta post something as well. <laughs> The original post There's been a little bit of controversy surrounding the uh, the parade, I believe, because they're because UCF didn't actually play for the national championship, but they're having a parade because they won their bowl game. But they did beat the only team to beat both of the teams in the uh, in the championship in the championship. So the Alabama Crimson Tide and the Georgia Bulldogs. So by default, I uh, I guess they could claim that makes them a champ. <laughs> They can print the t-shirts. I'm not sure what that does, though. We are from Orlando, so by default, we are UCF fans. Well, and a Florida fan, so I'll go, I'll go with uh, Alabama on that one as well. And I work for UCF, so I guess I have to kind of be a UCF fan too. Again, by default. <laughs> And I apologize for the position of the sun. I know it'll make the the viewing a little bit difficult, but as I said, it's really, really crowded. And as you can see, there's a ton of people here, not a whole lot of room. <laughs> Guy randomly stealing a child. <laughs> Might have seen that breeze by. Our commentator station is currently a lovely garbage can.
Season. He's, 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 he's six and nine season or whatever it happened. No, I don't think they were that. I don't think they had that many wins. They're not the Niners now. They're gonna be good. Who the Bears? Niners. I hope so. I think it's just a regular print. It's a thirteen and zero print. And the 13 and 0 wasn't that wasn't unimpressive simply because of the uh, the all the things that they had to deal with this year as far as the hurricanes concerned and all of that. So, I mean, they ended up playing 11 straight games. I don't know if college has any buys like the pros do, but they did. They did. But they ended up playing usually it's like, like get around game seven or eight. Usually they ended up playing like all their games straight because of the hurricanes. Yeah. So. And a chan- and a conference championship and a bowl game. Yeah. So not and, and a whole bunch of up in the air with their coach. Not an unimpressive. Oh yeah, and they they actually played the bowl game without their coach, didn't they? No, they had the coach. The oh, coach he was, was there, but he did pull double duty. Scott Frost pulled double duty, recruiting for Nebraska while game planning for Auburn. Nice. Um, so he was pretty much and with the newborn. <laughs> So it was an impressive season, combined with the fact that they went 13 and 0. And they would look good doing it. If you didn't get a chance to see many of their games, they were uh, they were actually one of the more fun teams to watch. They're innovative. They, you know, whether you like them or not, um, you know, they were definitely something to tune into every week because they would always unveil something that was different. Yeah. And unfortunately, next season won't won't look the same simply because they've got a complete turnover in coaching, right? 100%. I think they'll be in good hands. One, one hold. Also, I just looked directly into the sun, and it's not a good idea. I was like, huh? Look at those two crazy. And it's supposed to start at 4.30 here, so we've got just a couple more minutes, I think. Oh, actually, we're a couple of minutes late. All these people are just the parade pace cars. They're, they're leading the parade. Unevenly, because there's large gaps in between them. So what, we're, what you guys will learn is that um, about 75% of what we say will be untrue. <laughs> Oh, the Jaguars won. Nice Good job. Nancy, what we're doing here today is the UCF parade for their 13-0 season. They, uh, they're having a big parade at Disney for the local college, the UCF Knights. As UCF is about 45 minutes down the road, or up the road technically. They won their bowl game and beat the only team in the bowl that that succeeded in beating both of the teams playing for the national championship. And 
and uh, they're a bunch of good kids and a good coach, and uh, they're going to be celebrated. And there's your black and gold chant. Well, technically, it was supposed to start about five minutes ago, but we'll uh, we'll stay tuned and and hopefully bring it to you once it starts. Oh, people are clapping and starting to get up. We may be getting ready to start. That's uh, supposed to start about five minutes ago. I heard that they're in the back lot uh, playing a pickup game against uh, some Alabama fans. <laughs> Again, that would fall into the completely not true category. Completely not true. Starting is there? Starting full back. Steve, Steve Baba Ganoush. <laughs> He's recruited out of the University of Hungary. <laughs> After that, with the coach saw him wrestling a bear. <laughs> Just because I don't want to see Alabama win another one. Um, I got a roof for Alabama on that one. Because Georgia's in your conference, right? Or your division? Well, both of them are, but Georgia's in our your division. Our division. See, I still don't know how all that works with college. Split the two, east and west. Gotcha. Alabama's considered west. It's actually one of the further teams west. In that, it's like Alabama. Oh, yeah, I guess because it, it's the western of the SEC, right? Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. You go up the coast, you got you know, South Carolina, Vanderbilt, Tennessee, they're considered east. Florida, of course. And we've got some Disney ducks. Some what? Disney ducks. Disney duck! Yeah, there's no uh, signage or anything around here stating anything about national champions, just 13 and 0. The people's champs, so to speak. Hey, if you smell what UCF is cooking. Oh, that was a wrestling reference. Here we go. Drum majors have some really nice swords. Yeah. Wow. 
Bob's gonna be stomping the podcast for the uh, thing for a moment to kill some swords. I may have to. Coming up are the best members of the band. Disney World in Orlando, Florida. At the UCF Magic Kingdom. <laughs> 